Later today, a major section of Fort Greg Adams is set to undergo a renaming. Yeah, uh, that change is set to honor those who've lost a loved one in the line of duty. Mm -hmm. Here to explain a little bit more, Caroline Colburn. Good morning. Well, good morning, Robin Reba. This is something that leaders at the fort hope brings comfort to Gold Star families renaming this bridge Gold Star Bridge because they tell me why they can't always make the promise to bring these soldiers home, these loved ones home. They can ensure their legacies live on. Now, CBS 6 caught up with Deborah Leach, who works in Fort Greg Adams Survivor Outreach Services Office. Her son, Specialist Richard McNulty III, was 22 years old when he was killed during combat in Afghanistan on Mother's Day of 2012. Leach says one of her biggest fears after her son died was that the community would forget his sacrifice. Well, this bridge renaming is going to help keep her son's name alive and the other heroes' legacies living on, too. It tells me that our fallen soldiers will never be forgotten. And for me, that is one of the things I always worried about when my son was first killed. Um, and I think I, I just think it's great because it will always be there. The memory will always be there. Now the Bishop Anderson Bridge is that bridge is going to be renamed Gold Star Bridge today during a ceremony taking place at 430. But tomorrow at the base at 830 AM, they're going to hold their annual run for the fallen at Williams Stadium. Anyone is welcome to come out and attend. And actually, Robin Reba, that run is going to take place over the really named bridge. Caroline Colburn reporting live for us. Thank you. All right, right now it is 6.30.